Hello everybody, my name is Brella and welcome back to another Minecraft Command Block tutorial. In this tutorial we will be talking about the test for command and how you use it. Now this tutorial does not actually cover the whole entire concept of the test for command since the test for command is huge. Instead this just covers the basics. Also, this isn't really just for the test for command since the test for command is pretty simple. It's also for selector tags. And yeah, so this was suggested by Cake Minecraft and the comment is on screen now. And yeah, so if you have any tutorial suggestions, then please comment them in the comment section and I would love to do them. So yeah, let's get right into the test for command. The first thing that you're going to need to know is how to test for just a player. So as you can see right here, I have just a command right here, test for at all. And what this app A does is, as you can see right here, all people. So this will target all people. And this means that it will test for, test for anybody. At P, you can change this to at P, and it will test for the nearest player. At R is for a random player. And at E is for any entity. So entities are players, mobs, and etc. So if I press this, since I am currently in the world, the light will turn on, and yeah. So the next thing that we need to know is name equals. And as you can see, this will test for at all name equals Spiralia. So what it does is basically what the name says, it will test for anyone with a name Spiralia. So if I press this, since I am Spiralia, it will turn on. Now for the next one, we get into more of the, um, like more of the useful bits. So as you can see, I have a command right here, test for at e name equals Tommy. Tommy. Now I am the only person on this world, which means that there is only Spiralio, but as you can see, I used at E, which if we come over here, at E means all entities. So that means if I just rename any entity, I'm gonna take the sheep right here and rename it to Tommy. Oh goodness, caps lock, Tommy like this. As you can see, if I press it, there's no Tommy in the world, so it's not gonna activate. Now that I spawn it, as you can see, it activates because it found a Tommy. Now the next tag is the type equals tag, and what it does is it will test for any entity with this type. So as you can see, it's type equals cow, meaning that it will test for any cows. Now you have to capitalize this or else it will not work. And this also works for player if you capitalize player. And so yeah, if I click this now, as you can see, it will not turn on because there are no cows in the world. But if I take the spawn egg right here, and spawn a cow, click it, as you can see, there is now a cow. This works with any mob, like I mentioned before, and yeah, it's gonna be pretty useful. Okay, next is the R equals command. Now this is radius, I already mentioned the radius command in a separate video, the link to that video will be in the description. And all it does is it will test if a mob is in a certain radius. So if I just get this cow out of the way, thank you and I click this, as you can see, it will not turn on because there are no entities in a radius of two blocks. So if I get closer to the command block, as you can see, something happens, but now I'm in two blocks and the redstone lamp turns on, just like that. Now the next thing is kind of a broad thing. So if I put a exclamation mark right here, as you can see, it will be not. So let me just run down this command. Test for at E, all entities, Radius of two, so any entity in a two block radius, and type equals, now here's where the exclamation mark comes in handy, not player. So any entity in a radius of two that is not, hence the exclamation point, not a player. So as you can see, if I just get close to this, it will not turn on. But if I spawn in any entity, doesn't matter what entity it is, I just spawn in a baby move okay and as you can see it turns on and yeah so that can be pretty useful when you do not want a certain entity to be targeted okay next is the XYZ coordinates now this take this can take a long time to figure out what it does is it's just like this so it's a bit complicated well I mean it seems a bit complicated but it's not so test for at all which means at any player X equals 1085, Y equals 56, Z equals 1236, R equals 1. So let's run down, run. So the X 
Y and the Z are coordinates. So if I press F3, you will see that those coordinates match up to the ones right here. Now, these coordinates are followed up with a radius tag, so a radius of one. So this means that it will test for any player right here in a radius of one block from this block, which means I can stand right here, then it will activate. So let's just test. So if I just get close to this command block and click this button, the lamp will not turn on. However, if I get closer, the lamp will not turn on. If I get even closer, the lamp will still not turn on. But if I stand right here where the coordinates pointed to, as you can see, the lamp will turn on. This is pretty useful when you want to test if somebody is in certain coordinates. And yeah, so that is pretty much all that I have to show you guys. If you have enjoyed, then please leave a like down below. Remember to subscribe for more content like this, and if you have a tutorial suggestion that I should do, please leave it down in the comment section. And yeah guys, so like always, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.